Hello everyone, it's Anne from Anne Makes here on YouTube and I also share DIYs, how-tos, uh, product reviews and a whole bunch of uh, mostly craft related things over at my blog at annemakes.blogspot.com so please check that out. And uh, so I went to Dollarama and Dollar Tree yesterday so I do have that to film as well for you. And uh, Dollarama, by the way, is a chain of stores that we have in Canada that are like dollar stores, sort of. The items start at a dollar and range up to four dollars Canadian. So I went there yesterday. I had a lot of things to do and I, it took me all this time to start filming because I still have work being done at my house and it was really loud earlier. So I've only been able to uh, get a chance to film now. I did take some pictures of some snack food items that I purchased at the Dollarama with their prices and that will be included here. So uh, let's uh, look at what uh, what else I got at Dollarama, shall we? Oh, by the way, I am not in my usual location. I am uh, filming in my room, my, my our bedroom right now, because my uh, work desk was flooded on the weekend. Um, there was a faulty va a valve that uh, leaked and burst, and uh, I had quite a mess in my um, studio. It is dry now. It's been uh, five days about. So it is dry and we are in the process of moving the stuff back in. And the loud noise today was because uh, I was having new lighting system installed uh, there. So now I have better light in my studio so I'll hopefully it'll be uh, better for me for filming. And uh, so yeah, right now I'm here in my room and I have to work with what I have. So uh, I'm just gonna move the camera over a bit so we can see uh, the items that I purchased. So the main reason I went to Dollarama is because I wanted to purchase more of these plastic bins for storage in uh, my studio slash craft room slash work space. Um, after having to throw out, it, it wasn't that bad actually, I only had to throw out uh, six big garbage bags of stuff that was uh, ruined by the water the, uh, on Sunday, but um, I decided I've become quite paranoid about water and because my work area is in the basement, <laughs> uh, that, and I flood, we have flooded from the ground up um, many many years ago and we do have systems in place for that but what happened on Sunday was a burst pipe not really a burst pipe but a a broken valve so it kind of yeah showered my uh, work area so now that I've been flooded from the bottom and flooded from the top I uh, have decided that I am not using cardboard storage anymore uh, everything has to go in a plastic bin because i don't know or if and when or i hope god i hope i don't go through the, gosh i hope i don't go through this again but uh <laughs> i love the water but the water doesn't love me so uh yeah I'm, i just wanted more bins to uh, put the stuff that did not get damaged by the water that I was able to salvage and to keep it safer in plastic bins. So I got several of these. These are $3.50 and they hold quite a bit and I love that they're clear and they have clear lids. And I went over to another town to get these because I knew that this Dollarama would have them in the, this clear color because my closest Dollarama 
only had them with uh, a blue lid and I didn't want the blue lids. While I was there, of course, I looked around for other items and one of the items I bought, I had seen these before at Dollarama, but I just got a flash of an idea while I was there and I thought, I don't, I don't know, I haven't designed my idea on paper yet. I will do that first before I actually go ahead. Um, but if, if my idea looks good on paper, I might actually execute it. So I got four of these. They look like little houses. Uh, they're like shadow boxes, frames. They have little hooks on the back so you can hang them on your wall. Uh, I got, this is the larger model one. And then I got the next size. I got three of those. I am thinking of doing some sort of decoration on my wall where I would have the letter H, O, N, and E in here to spell home. I, I'm not sure. I'm not, it's not 100% yet. So the larger one is $3.50. And then the smaller one are $3. And then they come in two more sizes, two more smaller sizes. So, but I, this was, my idea was like this. So I also purchased this jar of botanicals. It's, it's a nice size jar. They have a different select, quite a collection of these at the Dollaramas I go to. There are some that have flowers or some that have uh, these, I don't know what you call these. These are nuts maybe or pips or something. And they have, they're mostly bottled in color themes. And I just like this because the green and the shape thought I could use this in various uh, floral arrangements or in fairy gardens or any kind of display that is more natural looking. And these big bottles with the cork, which they're very pretty as is, are $4. Like I said, this Dollarama is not my usual Dollarama that I go to, it's just a Dollarama that I, I know exists. and. Uh, it's funny because they still had some of these wooden letters. I have hauled these before, uh, quite a long time ago, but um, I saw two more packages. They are $4 and it's a little wooden box that you can reuse with 162 little wooden letters. So these are really, really fun to have and use in a variety of home decor, DIY, crafting situations. So I got those two. I also purchased two of these uh, leaf-like runners that are made of quite a thick felt. I, could see, I don't know if you can see how thick that is. They are quite lovely. I, they have so many beautiful autumn colors available. Uh, I saw green, I saw golden yellow, I saw deep red, and I think believe orange, but just the beautiful rich colors. And this, it's, I would, I would almost dare to say that this is about the size of a, um, a legal size paper. That make like a ton, sort of eight by 14, I don't know, <laughs> I'm guessing. Um, and these are $1.50 each. So I thought these would look very nice this coming fall, which is coming too quickly. This was new to me, uh, the Exacto pencil sharpener, the one that you sit on a surface with the sex suction cup activation. And it was... I remember correctly this was four dollars and it's really heavy so I just thought this might be a good sharpener to have perhaps in the workshop area of our garage I was very pleased to see these at the Dollarama these are the hair ties that I've seen other people haul even the cashier was telling me that these are great she she was wearing one at the time and she had an extra one on her wrist and I really look forward to trying these in my hair. 
and if I really like them, I'm gonna have to go back and get more because I know I know myself, I will probably be losing these all over the place. But I'm always uh, looking for something that will hold my hair up. And you get four of these for $1.25 and it is mocha. I saw these necklaces, That's, it's very long. I might double it or shorten it or something. But I thought the dangly part, the charms on it, were right, were really fun. They're like this feather with the pink, and there's like a wishbone in there, a little gem. Yeah, so I just thought it was different, and I like the colors. I got this, and this necklace is the uh, Juliet. Yeah, Juliet uh, necklace, and it is $2.00 and 50 cents next is an oven mitt funny thing is the dollarama sells these like silvery metallic like mittens uh singly which is good because i i tend to only burn one of them at a time so uh, these are two dollars but i do like this because they do protect my hands very very well i am prone to getting my hand stuck on the element or the, the metal shelf in my oven. So uh, yeah, I, I really need these to protect myself in the, when I'm using the oven. So again, uh, $2 for this nice insulated oven. Mitt. I've bought a package of these lovely napkins. There are 14 in here. They are the 15 by 11 inch size. They're only two ply. These are made in the USA. It is, it's hard to see. It doesn't say what the brand is, but they're made in the USA and these are $1.25. I saw the mini, mini Barbies in the toy aisle. I remember these being two dollars a piece and I bought one like this because it's a little fairy so I, I thought I would have a little fairy to use with my fairy garden and by the way yes I know I haven't made a fairy garden yet and I haven't shown that to you um, and it'll probably be next summer by the rate that I'm going there they also had the little mermaid one so I got one of each I don't know I just thought it might be fun to use. And this, this is funny because I purchased one of these not too long ago, not realizing I had bought the French version. Not that I don't read and understand French, I do, but uh, I'm just funny that way. I prefer to have my agenda in English because most of my business is done in English. So. Uh, I looked to, I looked at the Dollarama yesterday and they did have it in English. I just had to pay better attention. So it's 2018 little agenda for a dollar fifty. And last time I hauled this, I showed you that I liked it because it's very similar to the cover of my Happy Planner. And yes, it only starts in 2018. I got a few of these peel and stick wall panel. This like fake stone. I th they only have three left. They're not cheap. They're three dollars a piece. They are about, I would say they're they're almost 12 by 12. They're 11.8 by 11.8. And uh, there's this is sold for with home de home decorating in mind. And I thought, well, I don't know if I'd want to buy enough of these to make a wall because I think it would be pricey and I'm not too sure about the quality. But the reason I bought these is because I thought they would make a good uh, surface texture for some sort of project or maybe if I want to decorate a box, something small, um, I will have them and I, I just like the look of this. So again, they were $3 a piece. I just have a few more items to show you, but I saw these stickers. I love the woodland animal theme here. So I just, they were so adorable. I had to buy this. And this was just a dollar for the whole sheet. There's quite a lot on here. 
And finally, uh, this is a, 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 a strange purchase. I'm not even sure what this is, but this is what it says is Yoki, Yoke Watch. It's a binder for uh, people or kids that collect these things. And I, I literally bought this, not because my, my children are into this, or if they are, I had no idea, uh, but because I thought that the size of the binder, the size of the pages that fit in it, and the pockets available for it would be useful in my organizing and storing in my craft room. Uh, these are, there are four, there are four, there are 12 little pockets here. It's hard, kind of hard to see. Maybe you see it better there. I don't know if you see it at all. So there are 12 little pockets and each pocket has a top flap because the intention is that you, you put, you store these little circly watch things, I guess, in there and uh, kids collect them. So I, I bought this just because I wanted to have the size of this binder and I like the pockets so I can store possibly some tiny stamps uh, for stamping or some dies or something I know I could use this for for organizing and storing some crafting supplies. So I got the little binder and the binder was, so the little binder itself is $3 and the refill pages, um, there's a pack here of refill pages and there's there's more of these doodads in there is uh, one dollar. So they're, they're a lot like those baseball card pages, but smaller. So they're smaller in in width, and they have more smaller pockets. So wish me luck on that idea of mine. And that's that for uh, Dollarama haul. I want to thank you so much for watching. Uh, Please uh, subscribe to my channel if you are not already a subs subscriber and that way you will get alerted as to when I post new videos. I am uh, working on other DIYs and how to's and crafting projects uh, in the, the same time. So there will be some of those coming in the near future. Thank you so much for watching. Uh, please like, comment and share and I will see you after the next haul. Take care of yourself. Bye.